Cage Mines, Micah Frankel. We're talking Legacy Aztec Warfare at Rosales. And we got Katie the Dynamite Ramirez here. And we're talking about making her pro debut. So let's talk about it. How are you feeling? I'm feeling ready. I'm excited. A little bit nervous, but I'm just setting the nerves to the side. But I'm ready. So you and your coach talk. You guys get together. Yes. How long was it before you could get a fight that you decided, yeah, the next one, I'm going to make this jump. I'm going to become a professional. Well, we've been talking about it for quite a while, ever since before I turned 18. So we were talking about it for quite a while. And finally, I got the chance to become, to sign the contract, and I did it. So we were talking before the interview, six years in the gym. Can you look back and reflect on the little girl you were when you came in here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, when I first started, it was... I didn't really talk, think about becoming professional or fighting. It was mainly about exercise, but um, my coach pushed me into becoming a fighter, and I liked it. And I did quite a few amateur fights, and now here is my first professional fight. So, from taking on those amateur fights, how long was it before you were like, I could see myself doing this for as a pro, trying to make a go at it? It was right away. It was right away? Yeah, right away. I thought about it. I was like, um... I want to become professional. I, I saw other female fighters like Holly Holmes and got very inspired by that and I wanted to become a professional. So let's throw it back. Think back to that first amateur, that sm first smoker fight. Mm -hmm. What were your thoughts heading into it and how much better was it than you were worried about? Um, I was quite nervous. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. My family was very nervous, but once I did it and it was done, I really liked it and I wanted just to keep on doing it. So your parents sent their little girl in here for exercise, maybe some self-defense. Yeah. When the coach bring up, let's let's have her start fighting. How did that go over with the family? Uh, they were they didn't really like the idea about it at first, but they probably knew it was gonna happen eventually. They still get nervous every time I tell them about a fight coming up, but they support it. They're always there, front row for every fight. So is it crazy to think throughout this journey, really, in this gym, you've grown up? Yeah, yeah. Six years already since I started. I started when I was 12, and now I'm 18, and I'm ready. I'm excited. And what's the relationship like that, having the same coach for so long? It's great. You get to build a strong bond with your coach and do everything together, and he tells you about everything, and it's great. So what was the initial giddiness of, you know, the excitement, turning pro? And then you signed the contract. What was all that like? We saw the photos. Yeah. You looked pretty happy on Facebook when you were getting to sign the contract. Yeah. It was great. Um, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. And now that I get the chance to do it, it's, it's unreal for me. <laughs> so as far as now training, have you kicked it up a level? Oh, a lot, yes. Um, training every day, running every day. It's been kicked up quite a bit. So there was a time when you were coming in here and you're like, oh, I'm dedicated, I'm working hard. And now that you're a pro, how does it feel? <laughs> feels great. Um, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it, it just feels good. Yeah. And has there been like, like a metamorphosis within you of thinking going from being this fighter to, to coming in to now you're coming into your own? Yeah, I mean, you grow as a fighter. You, I've matured many levels in this sport, um, it's taught me so much and it's, it's, uh, it's a great thing to do. Looking back on the amateur experience, what was the best lesson you learned? Um, just be a great fighter, just stay humble, don't be cocky, that's my thing, just don't um, respect your other fighters, respect other people, and just the training is great and everything, so yeah. So someone says, describe your fighting style. Who are you inside this ring? Uh, I'm pretty sure my nickname says it all. It's Dynamite. <laughs> I could say my, I have a very strong punch. And it's just, I guess you have to experience it and be there to find out. Dynamite, talking about the bang, the pow, so yes. that brings to thought everybody about the knockouts. Right. So what do you think about, what's that feeling like for you, getting the finish, getting the stoppage? getting the victory before the decision? Um, I mean, you never really know what's going to happen in each fight. I never like to like, say, oh, I'm going to win. I'm gonna... Of course, I, I want to stay positive about it, but um, 
I mean, I know this is going to be a great fight. I'm just excited to be there. And, yeah. Anaya Vasquez, your opponent, what do you know about her? Um, I know quite a bit about her. She's a great fighter. Um, she's a dedicated girl. Um, I respect her, and I just know that we're both going to have bring a good fight on the 18th. Now, back in your amateur days, did you work off of a game plan or did you kind of get in the ring and see what came at you? No, uh, we always try to work off in different techniques, different moves, um, depending on the person that we were fighting. So, I mean, this is no difference. We know a little bit about her, so we try to make different combinations and moves to try to get her. Getting to make that pro debut, it's going to be here in town. Yeah. The supporters, the family, it's going to be there. Yeah. Have you thought about what that's going to mean for you? It's going to mean a lot. Knowing all of my family and everybody that's going to be there, it's great. Um, and they've been more excited about a fight, especially since um, family from different states are coming in just to experience that. So it makes me really happy. And then, it's a big question, can you think about it, why do you fight? I mean, because I, I really like it. Um, there's no other sport that I'd rather do than boxing. So, yeah. Did you try any before coming to the I gym? I have. <laughs> I have. I've tried pretty much every sport, and I didn't really like any until my parents finally decided to get me into boxing, and I hit it off from there. And was it the individuality? What was it? Could you put your finger on something that mm -hmm. boxing stuck out to you? It's just the, the determination that it, that it takes for each and every fighter and um, like the hard work and the dedication and pretty much um, being on your own, don't really have to depend on another person to do the work for you. So. Coming into the ring, what's the biggest strength you possess in your fight game? Definitely my punches. My, um, I have a very strong punch, so I'd say that's it. Why do you get the win? next Saturday? Because I've been working hard, I've been waiting for this, and I have been training really hard, and I know what, what I'm walking into, and I'm ready. And then, one last message for the fans, for the family, for the supporters. Um, i just like to thank God first, um, my family for always being uh, such a big support, and especially Professor Rosales for always being there from the beginning, and helping me be where I am today. Aztec Warfare, it's Saturday, June 18th, the Hispanic Cultural Center, we're outdoors, come support the locals, it's boxing, thank you for the time. Thank you.